Hello, my beautiful Cancerian friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Thanks for stopping by. Let's jump into this reading. You have a falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy. Your person is in a free fall right now. They're very disowned from themselves. They do have a very good life, feast of plenty, choices and their consequences is what they're facing right now. In your relationship, we see the galactic mushroom, the divine matrix. They are trying to figure things out, what's going on with you, and they want forgiveness from you, repairing the veil, forgiveness. So they are not quite sure how to proceed, but let's look. Your person, they love you. The Page of Cups, they feel awkward, they feel immature, they want to have a victory and love with you, but they want to make an offer and not really take a big chance. They don't, when they think about how you would feel about them right now, they feel as though they have to make a small gesture, and they're hoping that you will invite them in, so to speak, metaphorically. The Judgment card speaks, speaks to the fact that there has been some sort of heartache, break up that this relationship your person may have released you cancer in the recent past uh, but the judgment card is about letting go it's scorpio energy and they feel as though you're a very good friend to them but we also see them in terms of their intentions it looks as though they moved away from you we have this virgo energy knight of pentacles um we get the empress energy which is taurus energy so we feel you know what i'm looking at here is i get the feeling that this person didn't treat you so well and i'll say that because i see judgment you know, we see the seven of swords the five of swords the three of swords here so it does look like your person is thinking round two cancer i want cancer they want to make that gesture they want you to be open they really want you to sort of welcome them with open arms, even though there was a period of time in which there was a betrayal. <clears throat> Cancer, the spirit of Pentacles is a king of Pentacles. Your person has a lot um, in terms of what they own, what they possess. It's a daddy card. It's a nurturing card. It's a king of Pentacles energy. They have the strength. They have the, the wherewithal. They have everything that they need, but they see you as being someone who's very independent, very much strong on your own accord. But we see that your person, these three cards represent your person in terms of their heart space. And I don't see what I want here. As a person who you want to have the Ten of Cups, it's like it's a little bit reversed it's this fallen angel energy i get the feeling that this person was unkind they they lied to you they were not honest with you they didn't treat you well they have put you in competitive situations but they want you back they want everything that you brought to the table they want your strength they want your courage they want the, the love and the kindness and the generosity, the, all the love that you gave them. But it's very driven by selfish needs. It doesn't appear to be something that is coming from their heart space. They want your love, but in their heart space, it's almost like they're willing to be tricky or you know not really forthcoming with you they're trying to it's it's the tricky dick card i don't know what else to say but their motivation is very clear they definitely want to trick you into thinking that there was never any competition you know they want to to win at all costs this beautiful love that you bring to the table the ten of cups happily ever after the people who marry for pure love love and only love and that's what they want that's what you bring to the table so cancer when we see their intention with you we see the heart of pentacles the mommy card they want to nurture you they don't want you to see the truth of the matter because we have you know we have the five of swords seven of swords and we have the eight of swords so your person is in this energy of of not wanting you to see the truth they want you and they hope that you will allow them to step back into the relationship even though they were a player with you for whomever it's a general reading 
energies can be vice versa, but it looks as though they think that they were a player with you. Now they want to come in. Their intention is to nurture you. Their intention is to build a solid foundation for the relationship. Their intention is that to have that use that fire in their belly to woo you back romantically speaking. They know that passion is very important to you. They want to give you passion. They want to give you stability. They want to win you back, even though they know that they really actually don't deserve you with, you know, these heart space cards. So when we look at this energy, Cancer, you know, we're, we are looking now at a fallen angel. And so this person has spiritual narcolepsy, you know, but they really do have a very good life that they want to share with you. So when we look at their intentions, we see somebody who's in it to win it. When we look at their actions now, what we see for you, Cancer, is that this person is very strong. We have the strength card. They see you as very strong. They see themselves as very strong. They feel as though they can forge ahead. They feel as though if they bring you in out of the cold, because it looks like they ghosted you, we have the Five of Coins and the Hermit card. They're looking at things for a different perspective. They're trying to figure out how they can have you, know, have you back in their life. They do have the strength. They have the fire. But we see them knowing that they're going to have to defend themselves. They're going to have to defend their actions against you in the past that left you out in the cold, the ghosting, the heartbreak, with the outcome card that they and you know that they are going to take action wise is to be very uh, giving to you, to be very aware. You know, the divine matrix is saying that your person identifies that you are single and ready to mingle and highly desirable. You are the Ten of Cups. You are the Empress. You know, you are a win for them. You are the foundation of what would make them happy. And they know that you don't need them. And so, fortunately or unfortunately, we see some misguided energy here you know, indicating that they will do whatever they have to, to win you back. So that is the energy that I have for you right now, Cancer. It's been a joy being with you. Sending you love from Chicago since I'm back. Tell me where you're from and comment on the, on the uh, format if you like it or not, if you like this type of reading. So hope to see you in the comments. I will answer all of them. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, Cancer.